obviously it's a exciting journey that I knew it will be uh, given that uh, you know it's uh, a very relevant solution and uh, technology that uh, team viewer uh, you know has created and bringing to India so you know I I got what I expected for in terms of uh, you know the market outreach that team viewer has um, its customers uh, employees in India so no major surprises as such, but it was, uh, you know, it has been a good learning curve so far in terms of, you know, understanding, you know, who's who in the organization first and, you know, just getting to create that value, which we've done globally in India now. Uh, I would say a lot of things. Okay, okay so, uh, you know, uh, the the participation of government mm. okay in areas of digital transformation you know has gone to the next level so i had uh, i had not expected you know uh, the openness of the government in adoption of technology to this extent well we always believe that the enterprises invest but i'm amazed to see and understand how globally team viewer has managed to gain um, you know, government um, uh, create initiatives for the governments of the country. So that was something new. See, Team Viewer that all of us know, you know, has been, uh, you know, about remote connections and remote support, right? So, you know, that I call people to people connect. So there are three areas in which we are investing in and we're creating value for our customers. One is connecting people with people. Second is connecting people with things. Okay, where you're talking about IoT and likes. And third, which is very important, uh, you know, is connecting people with data. You know, because, um, you know, 80% of people in any enterprise are not on systems. They are people on the field, they are people in plants, they are people on service, uh, you know, doing service calls for their customers. They are sales uh, guys, there are, you know, so all these people, uh, you know, are outside, you know, of the systems or data. So how can team viewer help to connect, you know, the data that is residing in the enterprise to the people that are actually in the front line, you know, is what uh, is interesting and that is what we are driving in India. In India, we are focusing on auto, given that auto is a big industry hub and we've serviced a lot of global giants. Uh, auto is one manufacturing uh, and government. Uh, you know, these are the areas where uh, we have our primary focus. In. So, if you look at the Indian economy today and, you know, the vision our Prime Minister, uh, you know, has drawn for the country in terms of the Atma Nirbhar Bharat, Make in India or Digital India. So, all these initiatives, you know, necessitate, you know, us to look at uh, transforming the erstwhile process into a digital one, right? So, from that perspective what we are trying at team viewer is to align ourselves with the india strategy from a government standpoint from the policy standpoint and then help the enterprises here you know to ensure that the products that they bring in you know are atmanirbhar where you know they can be self sufficient and they can support their customers their customers become atmanirbhar when it is digital transformation as to how can an enterprise in India, okay, transform their businesses using digital. And the third piece, uh, which is make in India. So while India is the manufacturing hub of the world, how can you create intelligent products and services? So team viewer partners with you to make your project product smart, intelligent, given that we have those platforms so we can partner with you and we can make things work mm -hmm. 
it is a big thing right now where everybody is talking about ot so you know very simply put uh, when uh, we use uh, technology to gather information of what's happening in the organization that is it that is the real world uh, investments that have happened uh, what happens is uh, you know when you talk about operations okay these are people as i said earlier on the field they do need information they do need support but uh, because of the lack of the medium you know that was not happening earlier so technology used in operations simply put is operations technology and what we are doing is with the platform that we have uh, created which we call frontline we are connecting the frontline employees or the people those who are actually into operations with data so that is what is operations technology where you can use technology to simplify your operations you know this Reality, yeah so and using augmented reality so obviously when you look at you know let's picture uh, you know someone uh, you know in the government who is uh, you know inspecting a dam okay now you've seen how monsoons have been crazy across the country so he going in to inspect the dam uh, ca can you imagine him carrying a pen paper a laptop you know and working on it it's not feasible so what we have done is uh, we've taken it a step ahead and um, you know in the augmented reality network so it might be on mobile it might be on smart glasses it might be on mono glasses where the process of inspection can be actually seen in a metaverse okay and it becomes hands free so you're not you know using your hands to write on the paper you're just talking to the machine wearable device that you have and the process is uh, happening at the back end uh, without you touching a pen and paper you know that's something uh, you know is really cool uh, when you look at uh, you know the augmented reality and the industrial metaverse that is now called put into so, use i think we've uh, we're touching the tip of the iceberg right now when we talk about metaverse uh see in, in interest of understanding what metaverse first is you know what you're doing is um, you know you are superimposing digital in the real world so both of us are sitting here right now this is real world okay and if i embed or superimpose digital in your glasses right now you will not require to look at your phone what you will see is something that is happening on the fly in front of your eyes without you you know actually using it in a digital format okay and then you know you using that information to work you know we've seen amazing use cases um, you know in um, uh, in auto as i mentioned in government in uh, manufacturing companies or for that matter uh, you know to engage with your customers like you know we um, uh, you know we are sponsors of manchester united and yeah. we sponsor formula 1 as well so you know in real world you know sky is the limit when it comes to you know driving or leveraging metaverse to simplify work day to day work okay and there are many cases that we can discuss on and on and on so the direction which we are going is metaverse led okay okay so the strategy is definitely around metaverse okay we call it the industrial metaverse so there are various metaverses so we are talking about environments uh, which are difficult to operate okay uh, you can picture working in a plant as a frontline employee the life is not simple because there are multiple things going on you know at any given point so uh, how can technology facilitate the process of that frontline worker it might be a uh, someone doing maintenance uh, in the plant he does not know every nook and corner or every part of the machine which he is handling and he will need assistance so metaverse can come in handy here second area is around inspection where these are intense inspection processes 
uh, you know, which could run in pages together, number of pages. So like 50, uh, 60 page of inspection process of a complete plant per se. Now you digitize that whole process and put it in a smart glass for the person who is handling it to be able to do it um, seamlessly and with a lot of confidence because and uh, without even touching a pen and paper because he's talking to the smart glass where there is voice recognition, record happening on the fly. He can take pictures, videos and all of that. So that is an area where we are operating or it could be assisted manufacturing. As I mentioned, that skill is very difficult to find in today's time. So how can um, you know you uh, you know, get your intern to actually execute a manufacturing process. If he sees the manufacturing process as he's doing it, let's say he's putting up a circuit together. So, you know, how, which wire to connect where, what is the circuit I need to look at. So if I have a reference point constantly assisting me, you know, your life becomes easier. So, you know, that is an area where also, you know, we are seeing a uh, lot of engagement and you know the future lies there where technology to assist the 80 percent of the enterprise which is not on systems you know what we are also doing is um, we have uh, because we are creation creators of this technology so uh, we need we it is not necessary that we know every industry and domain right industry and domain. So what we're doing is we're partnering with a lot of leading, uh, uh, you know, industry oriented companies who have solutions pertaining to particular industry, right? So we're partnering with them to leverage their experience and domain in that industry to create newer metaverses for the industry. So we've created the platform, it's an open platform. So someone who is an expert in the industry can use this platform because it's a no-code, low-code platform. So technologically challenged people, I would say, who are who are basically, I would say, it's not wrong to be technologically challenged because they their skill lies in the domain. They know the industry. They they have their own experience, but they can still leverage their experience and the easy technology that TeamViewer provides in the frontline platform to create metaverses by themselves without actually creating a bigger project which is an IT like of a project. So that is what I would also like to you know share with you. So I think listening is one big thing which um, I have learned uh, uh, you know in my previous 10 years or even now is is very big. You know if you listen uh, you know the solution is in the problem statement itself, as they say. So you have to be a good listener to listen to your peers, to listen to your, uh, you know, team, to understand what, you know, they are trying to do, okay? Um, more often than not, they are absolutely bang on. You know, they are, they are intelligent people, right? So they're working in the right direction, <clears throat> probably with lesser experience. So if you listen to them, you're able, and you take the noise out, you're able to, you know, really gain your insights in your own organization. Okay, learn new things from them and then share your experiences where they can prosper. And, you know, when teams perform, magic happens, right? So I believe that, you know, uh, the, the role of a leader is to be a, you know, coach of sorts where, you know, you already have employed champions. Now you just need to uh, listen to them and help them, you know, in whatever way you can. Thank you, Rupesh. Thank you for your time. It was wonderful listening to you. So, thanks.